Ted Victor, who's in Washington. Ted, what's the latest on the China Sea conflict? Sally, it's looking very grave indeed. We've been shown more satellite evidence of Chinese nuclear deployments off the coast of Taiwan. I have to say, these pictures don't leave much room for argument. Thank you, Ted. The President warned tonight that unless Chinese submarines were withdrawn immediately from the area, the response would be, and I quote, devastating. to tell me everything about your mission. We will start at the beginning with Alpha. Alpha? Yes. Remember, start at the beginning. Beginning. The beginning. Think back. I was betrayed. But, but who? Why? Where did it begin? I was on a beach. First leave I'd had in years. Then Alpha called. There's an agent missing, an American. I know that we should let the Americans look for him, but they need our help. It's your friend, Kiefer. I'm sorry, John. He was undercover in Bulgaria, wrecking a uranium mine. They lost contact. The CIA are convinced he's alive. They want us to find him and get him out. You'll be back on a beach in no time. I promise. Tell me about Volgia. Volgia. Mm. Officially, a peace-loving state tucked between China and the old Soviet Empire. Unofficially, a very nasty place indeed. Ethnic cleansing, concentration camps, and, of course, a resistance movement. The VFF, run by your contact, a charming gentleman named Gregor Kostov. You'll know him by his bad breath and worse habits. 24 hours later, I'm taking a breakfast meeting with Kostov himself outside a dodgy uranium mine. Very impressive, Cord. What about Kiefer? Kiefer's dead. What did I tell you? Let's get out of here. Pentagrad. Remember, there is no other way out except in a body bag. See the copter? What is it? 
We call it the Angel of Death. Premier Nagarov and Lukia, Chief Interrogator. They only come into the office when there's somebody very special to question. The girl, Alexandra, is in there somewhere. So? This war is full of innocent victims. You want your data cell, Kostov. I better get going. Don't forget. Just plug the EMP mine into a blue recharge point. And boof! Bye-bye, <laughs> robot. As for the guards, the technician's outfit should fool them. If they don't smell me coming. Nothing made sense. Maybe the bug would open the whole thing up for us. But this was more than just a missing American agent. So, you went looking for Kiefer and you came out with a secret. My secret. Blue Nephilim. Who did you tell, Cord? No one. You're lying. Lukian, help Mr. Cord remember. Uh, uh. You told London, didn't you? Yes. Told London. How did Alpha react? Uh, Alpha wanted more. Go on. Think back. Remember? Kiefer's data has told us a lot about Trinephiline, John. Now we must find out what Nagarov is doing with the technology. You're going to have to get inside his security HQ, the Pentagrad, plant a bug in the main server, and of course, get out alive. Who helped you, Kord? Someone on the inside. Kostov. Why? He needed me. Here's the deal, English. I get you in so you can plant your little bug. Then you find the data cell where they keep all their information on me and the VFF. You steal it, you bring it to me. Go on, there's more. The robots. He had a plan. You must take with you an EMP mine. It is very special device my men have built. It will kill these robot guards. Just plug it into a blue recharge point and poof, and they die. You are lucky, English. You are first person to use it in action against real robots. Tell me about the mission. Gregor took me to the Pentagrad. I decided to hit the land train alone. Kostov agreed that was a good idea. He told me where to wait and what time. It wasn't all he told me. Of course, if you do get in, you'll never get out. Why not? My comrades in the north have planted the bomb on it. How terribly considerate of them. When's it due to go off? Eh, you should have a couple of hours. Why didn't you tell me earlier? You were so keen on rescuing the girl, I didn't want to spoil your fun. A couple of hours? Ah, more or less, give or take a few minutes. Well, you know how it is with us peasant armies.
We found your bug, of course. Eventually. I must compliment you, Mr. Cord. We thought it was the work of a team, not just one man. I've got backup. They're out there. No, I don't think so. You see, we picked up a couple of Kostov's men. Dukium broke them very easily. He so enjoys his work. Ah! Now, via the land train. Alpha said you were going to execute Chi Ling Chung. She's a Chinese agent, John. Nagarov's having her transported to a prison camp in the north. I think she knows what he's up to, so we need to talk to her first. You're going to have to lift her from the land tray. Did you trust her? She was an agent. Of course I didn't trust her. If she tried to contact Beijing, I had orders to shoot her. Tell me about the attack on the land train. I went in alone. Chi was going to do the pickup. We had a stolen chopper. God, do you copy me? Over. Copy you, Chi. The guards on the gate will shoot on sight. Get past them without being killed. And you should have a nice, easy ride. Thanks, Chi. I'll be thinking of you, too. You are one click. Repeat, one click from target. And breaking off. Call me when you've got Nagara. Check. Check. And call. Don't take all night. Just don't run out of gas while I'm in there. Whenever you have a moment. Hey, Cord, relax. I'm here. Last time I traveled China Air. What did you want in the containment? You. The VFF discovered there'd been a terrible accident. They knew that you would go there. Chi had a plan. Nagarov won't be expecting us. We go in undercover, we take him, kidnap him. Trust me, Cod, we'll never get a chance as good as this. We must know what his plans are. And what did Alpha think? I didn't tell her. But she was warning you. I didn't have time to wait for London to authorize. You trusted the Chinese girl over your own boss? I was the agent in the field. It was my call. No wonder you and she trusted each other. Two traitors together. No! So, the containment. Did you go in together? Guns, tanks, you're not a puny Englishman. But you have done more damage than a whole armored division. Can't beat a private education. You are always joking. But if your Alpha told you to kill me, you would do it, yes? Go through it again. The mine takes us into the refinery. Security will be light. They're not expecting us back. We find Baby Blue and put the charges inside the shielding. Inside. 
or she won't blow. Then don't tell me. Boof. Bye bye, baby blue. And we go pick up the medals. <laughs> Nobody ever gave a medal to a Kostov. Wipe it out. First, we clear it with Alpha. Then we go in. For the first time in years, I can see an end to this war. They were waiting for us. Somebody told them. Who? One of your men? Never. It's the Chinese girl. Or you. Gregor, I would have nothing to gain. So it is the girl. Kill her. It's not Chi. I know it isn't. Somebody is going to die for this. Whose idea was it to attack the refinery? Alpha? No. Kostov. Call. I, I am inspired. They won't, they be, won't be expecting us back, so security will be light. Here is my plan. We go for the heart of the refinery. The Particle Bombardment Chamber. They call it Baby Blue. We put the explosives right inside the shield. Then, boof! Bye-bye, <laughs> Baby Blue. <laughs> and bye-bye, Refinery. <laughs> Easy! <laughs> what about she? She was all for it. So we had to blow up the refinery while there was still time. We must stop production of more blue Nephilim. This is a good plan, John. John. But she didn't go with you. Gregor didn't trust her. Oh, but you did? Yes. Yet she is never there when you need her most. What did you tell Alpha? I said I wanted to go with Gregor. Then she said yes? You don't know Alpha. Stay out of it, John. It's too it's risky. Too Leave this one to Gregor and his men. We're playing a long game here, and I need you in one piece. You disobeyed orders, Cord. Why? I don't know. I went with Chi. You sure this is going to work? Easy. We just sneak in next time the doors open. What could possibly go wrong? The supercomputer ought to be through there somewhere. Cord, I don't want to spoil the party, but... Like you said, what could possibly go wrong? We knew about the attack on the refinery. Who betrayed us? I wonder. What did London think? Alpha said... Kostov. She had inside information. But the bug you planted at the Pentagrad was no longer functioning. When I get intelligence, I don't question where it's from. You came straight here. Why? Alpha said you were moving ahead with your plan. This was? Operation Vodyanoi. You were right, John. The whole operation is being run from Nagarov's base at Bostoprad. The launch of the missile, the ghosting. If you can find the supercomputer inside his command room and destroy it, then the threat will be over. I'm counting on you. Don't let me down. Single-handed, you were going to stop me. 
but how? London sent me a data cartridge that would fit inside the supercomputer. But it didn't contain data, did it? High explosive. It didn't matter how much armor was round the computer. The cartridge would blow it up from inside. So who went with you? Mr. Court, this is no time to be playing computer games. There was no going back. I was alone. I thought of Chi. Was she still alive? Would I see her again? Or was Kostov right? That she'd betrayed us all? I would have to live through this to find out. Hang on, Alex! It's going to get rough! What more do you want, Nagarov? I've told you everything I know. It's what you don't know that interests me. Have you deduced who betrayed you, Kord? Counter being Kostov. He died too soon. The girl, perhaps. She? She had nothing to gain and everything to lose. She killed Greco. I don't blame her. He had terrible manners. Uh, I was warned about your sense of humor. Warned? By London. Alpha. Correct. Alpha betrayed me? Why? I had no choice, John. Thank you for joining us, Alpha. Premier Nagarov needed to be certain you weren't acting on my orders when you blew up the refinery. Alpha told us about the attack, and she confirmed that you would not be involved. But you were seen on the security cameras. The government decided to work with Volgia, not against her, to develop trinephaline. It was a simple policy shift. My duty was to implement that policy. Your duty was to obey my orders. I had no choice, John. I'm sorry. Why couldn't you just do what you were told? Premier Nagarov, are you satisfied that Kord was acting outside my control? I am. Good. In one hour's time, then, the British Ambassador to the United Nations will make a speech to the General Council, endorsing the ethnic sovereignty of the people of Volgia and supporting their territorial claims. An historic moment. Britain and Volgia standing together as allies. As long as we get our shipments of trinephaline and you stop the launch of the missile. Alpha, you can trust me. If you'll forgive me, we are having a small emergency here and must evacuate. I shall be in contact shortly. Premier Nagarov, I really must have your assurances that the ship... Cord, we must leave you now. Do you hear that alarm? The reactor you damaged is about to go critical. My engineers tell me there is no way to stop it. Come on, you can... What about the missile, Nagarov? Thank you for reminding me. Lukian, bring forward the launch schedule. Cord! Cord! 
Oh, I thought you were dead. I made contact with my controller. I have new orders. Terrific. I have been told to kill you. Ah, uh, and just when things were going so well between us. Cord, you look terrible. I mean, really terrible. Thanks, G. Don't mention it. You know something? It wasn't Kostov who betrayed us. It was London. Why? Economic imperatives. Why are you supposed to kill me? National interest. Of course. If I quit... Yeah? Then you'd have no reason to kill me. That's true. We could get Alexandra out, find Nagarov, stop the missile launch, blow him and his trinephaline to bits. We'd be doing the world a favor. What do you think? Wouldn't work. No? No. Unless... Yes? Unless I quit too. Come on. This base is going to blow up in a few minutes. And Nagarov's on the last submarine out of here. Let's find Alex and get down to the quayside. I found your gun and remora outside. I think you'll be needing them. Thanks, G. Magnetic. You sure? No, it's a wild guess. Of course I'm sure. Nagarov, take her on. Hold her steady. It's a trinephaline bullet! Down periscope. Alexandra, keep your head down. And don't touch anything. We'll be right back. Alex, it's all over. America and China both deny any involvement in today's explosion, but it's clear that the Taiwan situation has been diffused. One mystery still hasn't been solved. Large numbers of Chinese ships apparently just disappeared from radar screens this afternoon. We had just one plan, to disappear. Me, Alexandra, and Chi. But before we did, I had a phone call to make. Alpha? John, thank God you're safe. We must bring you in. I'm not coming back, Alpha. I realize it's been very difficult for you, but there's still so much I have to explain. Listen to me. I've updated the Remora with the information on your deal with Nagarov, and I dumped it on the American and Chinese intelligence nets. Oh, John, this will do much damage. You make a lot of enemies here. And wherever you are, they'll find you, track you down. You can't hide from them. You're finished, John. Finished. No, Alpha. I've only just started.
Arthur made one promise that did come true. She said, I'd be back on a beach in no time. Thank you. 